Last semester I was taking two classes with Dr. Rodriguez online and I was uh, continually getting confused as to which course I was working in mainly because they both look the same. Uh, there is not too much difference between the look. Um, when you look at my courses, the uh, the window here, a lot of it is just kind of basically gibberish. There's the uh, course number uh, when it's being taken and then you finally see the uh, title. So when you go into a course it's usually just kind of uh, gray and maybe a little color but basically boring. Now when you go into my shell you see it has a little bit more color to it. Um, if you go to the home page click the uh, button next to home you can see you can add a page banner and that's where you can put in a graphic. There's also another place where I'll show you in a little bit. But with the home page there's all these little windows that uh, may not be advantageous for your course so you don't want it to do that. But if you look at the other pages in your course you'll see that uh, the banner doesn't project there. Like in the view grades you can see that the banner doesn't display so it's only on the very first screen. So let's uh, look and see where that's located. If you go into your control panel, customization, and then style, here we can set the background color for the colors over here and if we scroll down to the bottom we can select the banner so you can browse your computer and find a graphic for it and then place it in. Now something unique here is you can define what your entry point is and you see here that it's going to be displayed on the course's entry point page so whatever whatever page you pick to be first that's where your graphic will appear. Now let's let's uh, show you how to create a, a graphic banner that's very simple. You may not know it but uh, the campus has its own image gallery. It is uh, imagegallery.tamucc.edu so if you go there you can click on campus photos and it will jump to Flickr so when you go into Flickr you'll see different uh, catalogs of images. Um, we'll just choose nature as an example. And there's all these different photos from around the campus. Uh, we'll just pick one at random. and then we'll click on the image to enlarge and then we'll just increase the browser size to make it even bigger and now we'll jump to paint Microsoft Paint okay so now we're in uh, Microsoft Paint and we're going to paste the image in and we just drag it to the position that we like uh, make it right about there now this is the uh, transparency normally it's in this position so when we type text um, you'll see that there's a white background so so to get rid of the white we just click there okay let's try white letters and uh, Let's see. 
Okay, so we've got the fonts window up, and we're going to try a different font. But instead of just picking one, because it will just go to that, what we're going to do is press the down arrow on the keyboard, and that way we can scroll through the fonts quicker and find something that we like. Let's try this and uh, make it a little bit smaller font so it will fit. Let's try 33. There we go. Now we can get rid of this window and we'll just uh, crop out the area that we want. Do a copy and file new and then paste. And then we'll save this. Go ahead and save it to my desktop and we'll just call it green. <coughs> okay. So now we go back to Blackboard and we find our new image. and click on submit and see how that looks. Hopefully this will work. Okay, there it is. Now one other thing we want to do is change the color on the side to kind of coincide with our graphic. So we'll go back to style and what we want to do is change our background color. So let's go back to uh, Microsoft Paint. We'll click on our ink dropper and we'll click on uh, some color in here. Let's try this one. And then we'll go to Colors, Edit Colors, Define Custom Color, and here are the colors. 94, 104, 25. So we'll go back to Blackboard, click on the uh, dropper next to it. Oops. Okay, so we need to put this in the hex format, and in order to do, to do that, we will open up the uh, Windows calculator, go into the scientific mode, and then we'll put in those numbers. 94, click on hex, which is 5E. And then 104, click on hex, so it's 68. And then we'll click on 25 in decimal, and then click on hex, and it's 19. So we just go back to uh, Blackboard and put in those numbers, 5E6819, and then Apply. <coughs> and we'll submit. So now we'll go turn off the edit mode and we'll see what the student sees. Um, okay. So there's our new look. We have some green on the side there, the, uh, the banner at the top, 
it has creates a, a different feel for the students. It uh, helps to separate it from any other online courses they may be taking. Um, according to um, some of the reading, Osaka said the ideal situation is to have a course management system that is e easy to navigate and to use. One thing I did here was uh, simplify all the controls on the side, on the left side. Uh, there's only a syllabus and news, and then there's uh, six stages of the course and then grades. As far as communication tools, everything's grouped down just to the basic information. There's the discuss discussion room, the chat, and the B uh, Blackboard messages for email, and then just a few uh, Blackboard and the, the Bell library links. So basically that's all the student needs. Um, when they go into each one of these sections, there's only a few clicks down that they're allowed to go. So uh, that way the navigation is very simple. <coughs> um, Osaka also said the uh, course management system should also allow the institution the opportunity to customize the interface so students experience a similar look and feel in each of their courses. Um, we don't want an ideal, I mean, an identical look and feel, but we do want uh, some consistency. So as the student goes from course to course, they know that the uh, controls are on the left side. Uh, this just kind of simplifies it so that they can get around. And it also helps to, to brand the course so it's a bit more unique. Um, Cohen Rawson said, there is nothing more discouraging to students than entering an empty, unattended online classroom. So this look helps to make it look lived in and more of a comfortable, uh, homey feel. So my goal for the Blackboard Shell is to make it uh, simpler, appealing, easy to navigate. Um, I've seen many LMSs where they, the design and navigation of the LMS gets in the way of the actual learning. Um, thank you.